What's up YouTube? Welcome back to yet another video on Kobe MC Photography's channel. That's me, Kobe Mercury Clark. So what's the topic for today? Well, if you read the headline then, or the video description name, then you already know what it's about. But if you're new and you just quickly flip through a bunch of stuff and then all of a sudden, boom, here you are. This is going to be about the Pentax K3 Mark III and the Image Sync app. In regards to the grumblings and things I've seen online, people are frustrated because they can't get it to connect properly. I personally have not had an issue with the connections. So I'm gonna walk you through how I go about connecting it. Do not listen to the full instructions that you can find online or on uh, how to use the app to do all the connecting and all that stuff, don't do that. Uh, you only need to do it for the Bluetooth once the Wi-Fi connection is established. For the Wi-Fi, you're going to be going device to device, bypassing the app entirely. So let's uh, get started. Okay, so first things first, what you're going to want to do is turn on the camera. And once the camera's on, you're going to go into the menu. You're going to go to the wireless LAN setting. And... You will turn that on. Then you will go down to communication info because you will need that number. And from here, what you're going to do is go into your phone. And on the phone itself, you're going to go into your settings. You're going to go to your Wi-Fi. You're going to wait for the pen tax to show up and then click on it. And then throw in the wonderful number here. Uh, what is that? Uh, do -do -do. Mm -hmm. And hit connect. And it's connected. Okay, now from here, what you're going to do is go into the camera's menu cancel cancel and you're going to go to whoops bluetooth okay bluetooth is on go to pairing execute pairing now from here you're going to go into the app on the phone to pairing mode then it should allow it to connect execute pairing okay now go back in and pair this up. Start over, next. Uh, oh, that's why. Okay. Six three. You gotta put the name in. That helps. Six three. A seven O. Find my camera. There we go. Okay, and then it brings up the authentication code you need to put in, which is not the usual defaults. Very sneaky Pentax. Very sneaky. And then we wait and we wait and we wait. It says it may take a while. Let's see how long of a while this will actually take. Failed. What? Why did it fail? Huh. Right, let's try that again. Oh, what are my paired devices actually? Huh. Okay, it's already paired.
Okay, so I just got a little notification on the bottom here, device to use with image sync, connect. It's for the Wi-Fi. But it's showing that my phone is already connected through Bluetooth. So I shouldn't actually need to do that. But let's uh, let's release the pairing. Okay, let's do that, do that. Okay, now let's go back, try this again, execute pairing. Let's try one more time. Go back, K3 Mark III, connect. Searching for the camera, found it. There we go. All right, we'll access. Uh, okay, it's a different code every time. Interesting. Okay, so seven, four. Okay, let's uh, see what happens here. You know, it's funny because I actually did not have these issues. There we go. Okay, so it was my own my own mistake. My my bad. Okay, so now that it's all absolutely connected, and yes, I want to connect. Okay, everything is good. All right, everything is good. So now. Let's turn all this off. All right. Now that it's all good, we can check out images and all that other fun stuff. Make sure everything's on. Yep, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are both on. So now when you actually go to establish the connection, actually, let me, uh, so now that you have it all connected, uh, when you go to actually establish the connection, what you're going to actually be doing is, let's just close image sync here entirely, get rid of everything, turn off the Wi-Fi on the camera. I have, uh, I have it set as a shortcut. Okay, so I leave the Bluetooth on on the camera. Uh, I just leave it on. It's low energy Bluetooth, so it's fine. So now what I'm gonna do is, uh, just show you here. I'm going to turn on the Wi-Fi. Oh, turn on the Wi-Fi. There we go. Okay, so Wi-Fi is on. Now I'm going to open Image Sync. Wrong list. Open Image Sync. Connect. Actually, I take that back. Open settings and go into the Wi-Fi and now click on the Pentax, hit connect. Connects immediately. Now you go over and open Image Sync. And you'll notice that once Image Sync opens up, everything will be connected. There you go. That's it. Good to go. So you've got your device images and stuff, and then if you want to go in to uh, use the camera in live view, you just make sure the camera is actually in live view first. And why am I not getting anything on my screen? Oh, right. I'm not getting anything on my screen right now because I'm connected externally. So let me... Uh, let me just do something here. Okay, so if I unplug this. Okay, so everything's here. It is connected. All right, so that's all good. There we go. 
Okay, so I just had to start that over again. And you can move the autofocus point around. The one thing still has the same issue is it doesn't give you an actual layout of where the autofocus points end. So if you click over here, there's nothing. But anyway, okay, so now that that's all done, let's exit all this. So let's turn everything off. So turn off the camera. Exit image sync entirely. Close everything. Okay, now let's fire the camera back up. And just so that you guys can see what I'm doing here. All right. Oh, turn the camera back on. Okay, so the camera's on, uh, and as you can see, location information is there. It's got the little satellite thing. The Bluetooth is on. The Wi-Fi is not on. So let's turn on the Wi-Fi, and now let's go into the phone. And in the phone, let's just go into the settings, go into the Wi-Fi, Wait for the Pentax to show up. Click on Pentax, hit connect. If it says that there's no uh, internet access, that's fine. Just acknowledge any little warnings that come up. Okay, and then exit there. Go into Image Sync. Wait for it to load. And boom, there you go. Okay, so when you want to reconnect, once you've done the preliminary setting up and establishing the connections for both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, it's very simple. Just turn on the camera, and from there, you enable Wi-Fi, which I have as a shortcut to the auto exposure lock button. And then what you do is you go into your settings here, go to Wi-Fi, Look for the Pentax, connect. It's connected. Now you go into Image Sync. As you can see, camera's on. Go to Image Sync. Got Image Sync loaded. And uh, all right, let's uh, look at the camera images. Not transferred. There you go, they're all loading. Excellent. Okay, let's go to live view on the camera. And now let's go to live view in Image Sync. And there you go. That's it. There you go. And that's as easy as it is. You just need to get over the hump of the instructions that are invalid for initially doing the setup of uh, establishing the initial connections between the camera and the phone. After that, it's pretty smooth sailing. All right, well, there you have it. The preliminary setting up of image sync how it's supposed to be and not how it's stated on the official documentation for some very strange reason uh, that's provided by Pentax. So those are the steps that I used when I initially had set up image sync and once you get through the hoops of uh, the initial connection um, for each device you shouldn't have any issues whatsoever of being able to immediately reconnect when you need to use image sync. Those are the methods that I used anyway. Uh, your mileage may vary depending if you're using an iOS or an Android device uh, or as other people don't realize that that's really how it works out. An iPhone versus 
as other people say, oh, Samsung, but it's not just Samsung that does Android. Uh, Android's the operating system, Apple uses iOS as the operating system, and they do not work the exact same way. So your mileage may vary slightly, but at the end of the day, do not try to do the initial connections, especially for Wi-Fi, through the app itself. Uh, always go into the phone's actual settings to set up the Wi-Fi, and then after that, you should be good to go once you've established the Bluetooth connection as well. Then you can control the camera, you can download your images, all that fun stuff, and uh, that's pretty much it. So if you like the video, leave a like. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Helps me out. If you want to support the channel, that information's at the bottom of the description. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. That's my uh, broadcast voice. And that's it for me. You'll see me on my next video. I'm out.